Hey, thanks for joining me for midweek. I hope you're able to stay inside and to stay cool. Um, but it is a good change of pace from the rain that we've been having that we were complaining about just last week. Uh, but today we're going to spend just a little bit of time in Romans, the 15th chapter, looking at one verse, Romans 15, 13. There's a lot packed into that one verse. And so let me read that to us. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So there's a lot going in there. So let's unpack all some of that. The first is, may the God of hope fill you. Okay. What is our hope? Are we hoping in God? Or are we hoping in something else that's going to fill us with um, joy and peace? Or is it God who is our hope? You know, and I know we use that hope, um, that word a lot, like, I hope it doesn't rain. I hope it doesn't get too hot. Um, I hope um, the grass does well. Uh, I hope I get feeling better. I hope you get feeling better. But is that really what's driving us? If that is that really what we're putting um, all of our energy into, or is it? Are those just phrases? Now, sometimes we can hang all of our hope on things around us, like doctors, or maybe we think this other person is going to make us happy and satisfied, or. Uh, maybe if this event happens in my life, then I'm going to be happy and joyous. Well, that's the wrong kind of hope. Our hope has to be in Jesus. And um, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Now, we all want joy and peace in our lives. But oftentimes, we seem not to have that. Our life seems to be vacant of that or void of that. Um, but we all seek things that will give us joy and give us peace. Um, but we need to read the last part of that. It says, will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. So you see, the more that we trust in God, the more we're going to have joy and peace that the things of this earth and the things that we deal with every day can't take away from us. Even though we may get bad news, we can still be at peace. We can still have joy. We may not be happy, but we have joy. It does. It, that kind of means that we're not desperate. Um, and so we get hope, joy, and peace from God. And as you trust in him, more and more of that, more and more we trust, more and more that we have more hope, more joy, and more peace. Um, but is that the end all just to give us joy and peace as we trust him? Is, is that the final thing? Well, no, there's another part of the verse here so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, if you fill your cup up with something and it overflows, the overflow is not any good for you. Um, and that's kind of the way that hope is. It doesn't mean that it's good for us, but we're so full of hope and peace and joy that we overflow to other people. And so the Holy Spirit does that in us so that we can help other people who aren't there yet, who are struggling in whatever circumstance they're facing, um, that we can walk alongside them and help them to trust the God of hope more so that they can have his peace and his hope and his um, joy. So a lot of times we just think, well, what's in it for me? But God gives us things so that we can share that with other people. 
And so if we're not being filled by God, it's going to be hard for us to give away things that we don't have. So the more we trust, the more we're going to be filled, the more we have to share with other people. And, um, and that one verse is so much for us to work on and to lean into this week um, and to think on and ponder and ask ourselves, am I trusting in God more today than I was yesterday? Am I filled more with hope, joy, and peace because I'm leaning more into God? And do I have enough that I can share with other people, that I can give them out of my abundance? Um, and we get that from the Holy Spirit in our relationship with God. And um, so as we chew on this and, uh, and seek to apply it to our lives this week, um, may God... May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. What a great goal for the week, for the month, for the rest of this year. Uh, so let me pray for us with that. God, we just thank you that you want to have a relationship with us. And in that, we can have hope. And as we trust you, our hope increases, our joy, our peace, even though circumstances around us may be falling apart, we can still hope and trust in you. And God, I just uh, pray that we would look for other people that we can share out of what you've given and blessed us with and help them in their situation. Give us your eyes to see people as they're hurting. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, I'm glad that you joined me this week, and I hope to see you again soon.